back for more Subnautica. And our Neptune rocket is looking real good. And if we run up here, we can see that uh, we need a Cyclops shield generator. This is to do the Neptune cockpit. We also need plastil ingot, enameled glass, and a computer chip. Now, if you actually look at our inventory here, we're actually fairly full, but we, uh, what was I going to say? We have things. In the last episode, we got the Cryonite, which was a lot of fun, and we've got some ion cubes. What I really want to shoot for is, let's finish up the rocket. I do know that we're going to have to get some ion power cells made out of these ion cubes, and if you look down here on our cool little chart here if I can find it and I can't of course uh what was I gonna say yeah we have to make a bunch of these ion cells so we've got an ion battery oh I see what we have to do we have to do ion battery and then ion power cells so we need a bunch of ion cube now my thinking is that there was that sort of ion a giant or large deposit back at the alien base so kind of feel like we should just take our prawn there and go get it all in the meantime that's sort of probably in the next couple episodes before we do that we're gonna go ahead and build up our little base here and uh, let's go over here to the entrance the other thing that I need to do, and I don't know if I'm going to get to it this episode, is I need the submarine MKs, the uh, depth modules. Welcome aboard, Captain. Because, yeah, well, <laughs> I haven't got any, and I I realized that I'm going to actually have to get them from the data box so we're gonna go ahead and take care of that soon oh I can't even do this because I'm full uh, oh yeah that's right this isn't even my sorting base oh boy so how am I gonna do this I'm like kind of stuck here a little bit my sorting base is the other base, so let me just go and dump a few things off of here. So we need that for the plasteel. We're going to need gold and silver for the... So let me think about this for a second. What I want to build is... I want to build enameled glass. The thing is, I don't think I... I'm not going to be able to do this. Lithium. Do I have any lithium? I do not. <sighs> this is the wrong base to be doing this. I didn't think this through. <laughs> I did not think this through. So, uh, on that note, I think we're going to actually have to go back to the other base. And I can't even eat here. Maybe I just should just go get that MK. Uh, I hadn't fully planned this through. I sort of thought, yeah, let's build the rocket! No, I wasn't really actually thinking it through to... Yeah, it's going to require six steps. I'm going to have to get to Red October anyways to deal with this shield generator. Computer chip. I just don't know if I have any silver in here. I've kind of moved all my stuff down. Not all of it, but most of it I've moved down. I should be good, though. Oof. Uh, let's put up this stuff for now. Just to get it out of our inventory. And I do have that depleted rod. And we'll get the silver out of here. We've got some copper. We do not have some copper. I don't know if I'm going to have enough to, to do this computer chip, but let's try. Let's see if we can take care of this. And let's have a look here. So, 
Okay, so computer chip we can definitely do. And let's see if we can do the enameled glass. We can do the plastilingot, which is... I made a note here. Plastil we need. Computer chip we need. And I have the... The shark, or the... Stalker tooth, but I need glass. Uh, I don't have any uh, quartz, or I certainly don't have enough quartz. Therein lies the problem. Oh, maybe I do have enough to make some glass. Oh, that would be sweet. I, You know, I, I'd hope, and then I'm like, slowly my hope is fading that I have the materials at this base, and now my hope is back. So all I need to do is go back to Red October, and I should probably see what I need to do the shield. Because I need the shield generator. And then we're done. So that's good. That's better than what I was hoping for. Uh, no, that's something else, I guess. Here it is here. Advanced wire kit. Polyanilin. So polyanilin is going to require gold and bleach, I think. Let's take a couple of those. Bleach is from salt. I should have tons of salt here. Let's see if I can make the polyaniline. Wiring kit. Can I not do any of this work? Ah! Do I actually have any coral here? Okay, good. Phew! I might as well put these red ones up. So that moment we were like, oh no, I don't have the materials. So bleach should do it. And then I think you add bleach to gold? Oh, I need deep shrooms. Oh. Do I actually have any here? I think I planted some, right? I think I did. Over this way. Okay, so here we go. I'm also make sure we don't leave this unplanted here. That should do it. Now we should be in business. Hydrochloric acid. Thank you. Polyanilin. Thank you. Now, what else do we need for that shield? Power cell, which we have. Advanced wiring kit. Ugh. I don't have enough copper here. That, unfortunately is a problem. That's a problem. I need a computer chip. Wait. I need two computer chips, so I need a bunch of copper. And I have zero. <laughs> Alright, let's put the stuff in here. My plan is failing. My plan to build the rocket is not turning out well. Uh, I'm not, I'm trying to, I'm gapping here on what I should do. Uh, in terms of this, I just need a bunch of copper. Maybe I should put the scanner on. Let me get some food here. I could do it. Make sure our bar reactor's got some power. We're gonna spend the next couple days kind of at this base. We are, uh, really wanna make sure that we've got a submarine are armed and dangerous before we uh, carry on with our adventures too much. Sorry, did I say submarine armed and dangerous? I'm not even sure what I said. Wow, look how far this thing spreads out. 
So we don't need stalker teeth. We're gonna go with limestone. And then that allows to get titanium and copper. What I do need to do is check on the fishies. I don't really need to check on the fishies, but I want to check on the fishies. Hello, fishies. These ampules have destroyed me more than enough times. I think I even got destroyed once by the sand shark. Nasty, nasty little things. I think I do have an egg that I'm carrying around. Okay, good, good, good. So let's go and uh, put up our inventory here. Then we'll go and get some limestone coppery bits. And that should uh, do the trick for now. So... Do I really need to carry around these cards? Probably don't need the stasis rifle for now. Oh, I actually had some hydrochloric. Huh. I'm gonna put that bleach in there for now. Put these two chips up, put my coral away, and... Got salt everywhere, jeez. Got some gold. And I do have silver. Alright, we'll just deal with the inventory here. Kinda was hoping that I would have a better start, but... You know what? It happens, right? Lithium. And nickel. I think that'll do fine. I probably should have charged that battery while I was standing here, but I forgot. And we will go ahead and uh, slurp that battery there and put that battery there. I think. I'm going to rename this so I don't forget. Silver Ion Cry. Because otherwise, uh, I feel like I'm going to forget. So we're armed and dangerous now. Let's go and snag some... Uh, I hate to say it, but copper. I mean, I know I've got tons of copper down at Delta, but honestly, like, that's a long way away. <laughs> so, and now I'm like thinking, you know what, it might even just be quicker to go get it. Ugh. There's gotta be some around here somewhere. You know what? I think we're just gonna take this bad boy here. It's gonna take a while for us to scan, that's the problem. Don't even need the light on. I'm trying to think of how many I might need, but... More than one... Is the problem. Seeing if there's any around here... Like, I have no need for salt. Okay, that's not exactly what I'm looking for, but... Hmm. May actually be quicker to go to Delta, which is kind of insane. I wanted to stay up here with the sunshine! It was so nice! Really seen what I need here. I, you know what? Uh, okay, change of plan. I think what we'll do is we need to go to Life Pod Two, which is right up there, and uh, we will get the MK Depth module for the Cyclops, and then maybe if we find copper along the way, that will be a little more interesting. I'm just going to change this color to pinkish, I guess. And let's do that. Life pot 2. Alright. I feel like that's a better use of our time. Considering we're already 15 minutes <laughs> in this episode. <sighs> uh, too much fun. And look, we've got some possible limestones on the way. We'll head our way over to... Life Pod 2. And that'll be the goal of this. And if we happen to get enough 
materials. Maybe we'll do the Neptune this episode, or maybe we'll do it next episode. How does that sound for a plan that I just made up right now? It's actually a better plan, I think, because this will help me get some titanium, too. Oh, there's something over there. And another one. Actually, a lot in this area here. The scanning is doing a good job now. It's picking up all this new stuff here that wasn't here a minute ago. So, Life Pod 2 is our goal. Copper is our. our Life Pod 2 is our main goal. Life Pod 2 is our primary goal. I just realized that um, my friend Pinkle here is running a little low in the juice. I'm not super low, 88%. 89% is our hull. Maybe we'll actually repair that. My biggest fear is not necessarily running into things, it's more it's things r running into me. So we're going to Life Pod 2. It looks like it's, jeez, it is way down there. It is a kilometer down. Holy cow. Well, this might actually be more dangerous than I thought. By the time we come back from Life Pod 2, our scanner will have actually did a further sweep here. Hmm. Don't really need titanium. I can always come back for that. Let's go get to life pod 2. Oh, jeez. Scared the... Whew. Look at these pretty ones. These are the ones that I think are hanging out at our delta base, right? Looks like we have another... Oh, this one actually has the name of the egg on it now. There was a another uh, recent uh, update to the game. I went... To I think it was like mo mostly just uh, glitches were fixed, so I had to update it before I did this recording session here. And then, of course, when you're dealing with mods, you've got to go in and uh, update the Q mod manager for every update. That's it. Things basically uh, worked out from there for the most part. Where am I going here? Right through the rocks here. Game that does not help me at all. Oh, you know what? Where am I on the map? Let me switch it to the biome mode. Underwater islands. Okay, so let's go this way. I don't think I've... Well, I haven't been here. Because look, it's all... Undiscovered lands here. This should be fun. Oh, Sand Shark, see the shadow right behind me? Holy cow, he took a major bite out of me. That is not good. Run away, run away! Stop making noises! Okay, this is exactly where I need to be. Damn it, stop doing that. I probably should get some of the stuff that's here. Some quartz. Freaky music's got my heart racing there now. I should get blood, but I'm growing it elsewhere, so... Okay, let's go see what's inside Life Pod 2. There's our data box, so that's exactly what I've been looking for. Alright, let's see what we got here. 
Bingo! Cyclops Death Module 2. No, 1. So this is Life Pod 2, folks, if you're wondering uh, where to get that. I never got it early on, so... There's our Life Pod 2. PDA data. Not really seeing much else in here. Okay, try not to panic, Gibbs. Like, seriously, what's with this heavy drum beat here? Oh, I should probably fix my, uh... Stop! Who the heck's biting on me? Oh, maybe it's the... I don't know why I'm getting bit. I feel like I'm swimming super slow with this update. Sweet, so we now have the MK1. Which I'm really excited about, uh... I have all the ingredients to do all the further updates, so that is not a problem. So yeah, we're in this uh, blood kelp zone here. Three rubies. Oh, you know what? We're going to need a ton of titanium. I also want to do this too at some point. Cyclops decoy. So do I have access now to the MK2? Yes, I do. So there's the MK2. And there's the MK3. So we can actually build all of the Cyclops um, depth modules. Stop. I don't want to get in your storage. I want to get inside of you. All right. Copper chunk. So we are quite far down here. I think there's an entrance to the... Lost River down here. Do I actually have... Oh shoot, I was gonna see if I had a beacon, but... I think there's an entrance down here. Not sure if I can see it here. No. But I'm fairly certain there is an entrance to the uh, Lost River here. This would be the one that we would take the Cyclops down. Like, look at how big it is. Yeah, this is definitely it. This is exactly how we would get our Cyclops into the Lost River. So I'm kind of glad that we've actually got this uh, life pod here marked. That's going to be quite nice. Okay, so we need some titanium. And we need more copper. So let's get out of here. This was good. This is actually... Other than getting a little bite on our butt. Not bad. Remember Knight got stranded inside the alien. Seamoth got stranded. That was our first Seamoth. Crazy. Can't believe we lost two Seamoths in this game. So we're going to go back to, well, frankly, whoa, let's not hit a mountain here. I think we have to build it. Hmm. Well, you know what? Let's go this way then. We're going to go back to beta get some more copper and then maybe we'll be able to make the entire MK3 series. I should, uh, how much space do I have? I mean, I've got the entire Seamoth as well. I need more titanium. Wow, look at all of them over there. I should have picked them up along the way, but that's okay. We will figure it out eventually. I need some wreckage, please. Is that scannable? Yes, it is. A little bit. Not really enough. You know what? As we're getting all of this copper, we're going to get titanium. Hello, solution. As we're getting these limestone chunks, we're going to get titanium. Haha. -ha. That 
What you do it? It's so dark. Somebody was uh, sending me comments here about. I knew I was gonna hit that. Uh, sending me comments about a bed, and I was like, yeah, I, I, I'm aware of beds. I just haven't really felt the desire to <laughs> make one. I don't know. <laughs> just hasn't really become a thing I've really been that worried about. I just play in the dark. My uh, character here is got the stamina to, I guess, work through the night, maybe? I don't know. Something like that. So here we go. This is good. Scanners did its job. Now I gotta do my job. Just harvest all this good stuff. I mean, there's a ton of it here, so... I'll be able to get all of this. Well, I won't be able to carry all of this. Another piece I can scan. Do that for the titanium. Some of this stuff is sneaky. Okay. Pinkle, I'm coming for you. Oh, let the daylight shine down. Thank you, daylight. Oh yeah, we're in business here. We are not gonna have a problem with this. The scanner is a game changer, by the way. If you've been playing this game without a scanner, wow. I feel sorry for you, because that means you've been painfully looking for this stuff. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Wait, where's Pinkle? Pinkle's down there. I'm actually quite glad I've been able to make my Seamoth pink. Makes it a little easier to find it. Harvesting maybe not the most exciting part of this, but I just want to make sure I've got 10 titanium, which looks like I do have. So that I can make plasteel. I think I actually need 20 titanium. Oh, there's a stalker. That's who's bothering me. Oh, he is not happy with me right now. Okay. We need to get some air anyways. Great. So we now are full up in our... Seamoth. That's some more stuff we can get. So we'll get our MKs built. I'm trying to think if there's anything I need to do with the prawn suit. I'm a little worried about taking the prawn suit through the alien base, to be completely honest. Because I, I took the Seamoth through the teleporter a few episodes ago and kind of felt like I glitched it. Well, I know I got it glitched in a door frame, which was kind of unfortunate, but... Okay, a few more stops here, folks. Thank you for your patience with this stuff. Looks like we got a couple here. Do a little bit of scanning. Oh, that one's actually a standstone. A little bit of titanium there. And hopefully that's gonna get us through the, for the next little while. Okay, those seem like very far away. Let's see if there's anything down here that's scannable. Yes, there is. Very nice. So that should perhaps do it for now. It looks like we've got at least 20 titanium, so that'll... Oh, maybe there's some trash over here too. Oh yeah, oh yeah, jeez. Okay. Definitely not a problem now. We're, we're ready. Let's go back. We're gonna go and... Uh, oh, we're actually really close to the rocket too. So we've got the copper, we've got the titanium. We are in business. We're ready to rock and roll.
I'm actually going to park the Seamoth uh, here, I think. Welcome aboard, Captain. Of course, I just realized that that's uh, going to be a problem. Um, I can access the inventory from here. So let's get this copper out of here. Don't actually think I need that. I put the diamond and the nickel in. Oh yeah, that should be plenty. Okay, so let's go. We're gonna make now is this where I make the MK? Common modules, seamoth, torpedoes. No, that's not it. I do believe oh I can't do that yet. I was going to say I want to get the uh, chip off my shoulder, but let me drink. That chip is kind of super annoying. When you don't need it, it's super annoying when you need it. It's amazing. So there we go, folks. So there's the MK2 and MK1. Maybe I'll make the... I must have to make it aboard the Cyclops. That must be it. Alright, so uh, we've got some a little bit of crafting here. I think I need at least two Plasteels, so we'll make two ingots. Might as well. And we'll make some of that. We've got to make an advanced wiring kit anyways. Wiring kit. You know what I really want to do? I want to make an ion power cell for no reason other than I can. Let me see what that looks like. Silver ore. Nito. This is my first time I've ever made one. I own battery. I don't know why I'm making it, but why not? So... What do I need for the M... Where do I... Oh, it's got to be a board, isn't it? MK2, Prawn Suit, Cyclops. So that's at the modification station. Cyclops upgrades. So I need Plasteel and three rubies. Plasteel. Do I not need a... Uh I've got to make the plasteel. I think that's how I do it. I have to make the aerogel. Gotta make two of them, might as well. And then we should be able to make plasteel. Maybe. If I can find it. Oh shoot, Plasteel is actually with lithium. Oh. Oh well. Huh. That could be a problem. I only have three lithium here. Okay. That could be a big problem because. Oh no, I needed the rubies. All right, let's uh, take care of business here. I forget how many rubies we needed, but three rubies and a plasteel. And the other thing I wanted to build after that, and this is at the modification station, which is the one right at my feet, nickel. Three nickel, three cryonite, and more plasteel. 
Ugh. So I need more lithium. How far away is the sub? Oh my god, the sub is 816 meters away. <laughs> uh, you know what? We're gonna make Neptune. That's what we're gonna do. So, oh shoot, I gotta go to the sub anyways. Alright, you know what I think I'm gonna do, folks? Uh, we're, uh, we're done for, for this episode. Stay tuned. Uh, thank you so much for uh, watching Subnautica. I need to do a little bit of inventory management and then we're gonna have to head over to Red October and maybe we'll bring it back because I'm trying to remember where I parked it. We'll figure out where I parked it. We're gonna wanna take the prawn out anyway, so we need Red October. We need to do some upgrades and we'll do that in the next episode.